sometimes when you're in real estate, you go and check out builders and you meet neat people along the way. Today I've met a very nice roofing gentleman named Rodrigo and uh, met another guy as well. You're gonna meet him next. All right, friends, Tulio here at a new build by Local Homes. I'm gonna let you introduce yourself, Zach, go ahead. Hi there, my name is Zach Posse. I'm with H&W Creations. We specialize in surface repair and touch-ups. Very cool, so I'm at a new build by Local Homes, great builder in the Northgate part of Collar Springs right now. And I have clients who are buying a, I should call it a, a higher end town home. And uh, it's lovely. We're doing a, one of the walkthroughs towards the end. We're gonna close in about a week or so. Zach, tell me um, what you do. You've got a paintbrush in your hand. Show that paintbrush. It's a very fine. Just like a, what you would use to paint a picture. There you go. So you go around with like, we got cabinets behind us and you do corrections in the cabinets. That's correct, like, yeah. So like, uh, tell us like cabinets, what else? Uh, all types of flooring, um, banisters, railing systems. Um, we can do repairs on trim. Mm -hmm. We can do repairs with tile. So, so like little imperfections that happen, or sometimes things that happen along the way with delivery of things that you correct. can make look better. That's correct. So, so Zach reminds me of the guy in Toy Story who could take the toys and had little imperfections, a rip in in, in, in a in, you know in, in part of their clothing or whatever, and make it look awesome so that it's ready for, for sale on the back, back on the market. So a real artist at what he does. So tell us one more time who you are, who your company is. My name is Zach Posse. I'm with H&W Creations. Very cool. Specializing in surface repairs. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you for your time today. No Good problem. to meet you. My pleasure. So what is that that you're rubbing into it right It's now? a wax. It's a wax, okay. Mm -hmm. And does that wax then give its color to the wood, or how's it do? Sometimes the wax is enough, mm -hmm. and if it's not, I can color match stains on site, and that's why I have the, the paint brushes for doing like little touch-ups to make it look perfect. Beautiful. And I've got one of my right, tools. Cool. Zach is an artist.